Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. As we get closer to the FOMC rate decision, I thought I'd take a look at some of the major currency pairs and outline the key levels that I'm going to be watching and uh, using as the roadmap for trading after the FOMC rate decision. So let's get started. Of course, there's lots of risk involved in trading uh, any sort of rate decision. Uh, not only do you have the risk off the statement, you also have the risk off of any little thing that uh, Fed Chair Powell might say during his press conference. And that can extend all the way from uh, 2 o'clock all the way till 3.30 when his press conference is over and then beyond as the stock market uh, trades this last half hour of trading. So be aware of that. Uh, if you want to sit out because the risk is too high, that's okay. If you want to participate, make sure you have a roadmap for your success or failure, but make sure the failures are limited. So let's take a look at the euro versus US dollar on an hourly chart. And what we saw in trading here today as outlined in the Kickstarter video was that the uh, 200 uh, or hour moving average and the uh, underside of this uh, trend line was going to be a level that would need to get to and through if the buyers were going to take more control. And indeed, the price came up to both of those uh, moving uh, those uh, technical levels and did find willing sellers against that level. So profit taking or lowering of positions uh, uh, were uh, seem, seem to have been established against that level. And so through the FOMC rate decision, we're going to need to get above the 1.0690 level. I also outlined the 100 hour moving average as another level that we need to get to, to and through. And that comes just above the 107 level, 1.0702. Get above that level and, and it probably opens the door. Well, it does open the door for further upside momentum. At that point, we'd be above the two hourly moving average. We'd be back into this channel. And uh, you know the upside would be the uh, favored bias uh, as long as the price can remain above those levels. Uh, we do have the uh, swing area 1.0722 up to 1.0736. And then we look toward the 50% retracement of the uh, move uh, uh, down from the April low to the April high. That level comes in at 1.07425. And as outlined again this morning, the uh, price did move above that level on this day right here. This is last Friday's day, uh, employment, unemployment day. But the mo momentum could not be uh, sustained and the price rotated back to the downside. Uh, you can see that uh, that that level was approached here. It was approached here. Uh, it was uh, then used as a resistance right here. Uh, so getting above that 50% retracement level and staying above that level would be more bullish for the currency pair. Now on the downside, uh, the uh, path of least resistance uh, would take the price uh, down to toward the 106529 level. And if we were to break below that level, and we did earlier today, but we were able to stay below that level, we'd start to look toward other swing lows, including this low going back to, uh, what is that, April 20th or thereabouts at 1.0622. And then we go to this low right here at 1.06097. And the double low right through here at 1.06, even uh, double zero. Uh, that um, not only is a, a natural support level at the uh, zero zero level, but also it has a double bottom at that point. point. So getting below the, those levels would obviously open the door for further downside momentum. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the daily chart really quickly. And if we look at that, uh, what does the double uh, 106 level look like? Well, it's uh, sort of in between, uh, you know, a resistance up here and support down here. I consider this area a, a bigger support level for the euro versus US dollar, at least from a technical perspective. That level comes between 1.0483 and 1.0535. So, um, you know, that that's an additional 70 or so uh, pips away from the 106 level on the downside. But if we break that 106 level, you can see, you know, or you can anticipate that perhaps we head down toward that 105.33 level on the downside, uh, all the way down to the 104.83, by the way. The low price for 2023 was at 104.48. So keep that level in mind. Let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus yen next. This is another one of those currency pairs. It tends to react uh, 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 quickly to Fed rate decisions and whether a dollar higher or a dollar lower, take a look at the hourly chart. Uh, we, we know that the 100 hour moving average, the 200 hour moving average, is going to be levels that the market's going to be, pay attention to. Admittedly, uh, in trading yesterday, after the uh, show, or uh, on this day, after the intervention by the um, Bank of Japan, we did see a number of different uh, bars where the price did move below the 200 hour moving average. One, two, three, four, three, four separate bars, but there were no closes below that 200 hour moving average. So, uh, let's uh, chalk that, that level as a key level on the downside to get to and through if the sellers are to take more control. Alternatively, at a higher level, would be the 100-hour moving average that currently comes in at 
near the 157 level. Let's uh, call it 156.97, but uh, let's call it 157. And then uh, ahead, ahead of that or above that level is this uh, swing area where we had to swing low before moving to the upside. And then we uh, broke below that level, came up to that level, found resistance against the level, and then moved above it, and then used that level as support right here. So the 107.23, 157.23, 157 level, and then 38.2% retracement of move up from the April low comes in at 156.615. Those are the levels on the downside that we need to get to and through to increase the bearish bias. On the top side, um, you know, with, uh, without much of, uh, remember, the, the, without much to really hang a hat on, remember these levels are uh, highest levels going back to 1990. But if you look at the, the uh, price action off of these hourly bars, we did have a uh, more or less a double top right here, and then we broke above the level and found upside momentum. On the downside, there wasn't much of a, in the way of finding support against that level. But if the, if the price were to move up toward the 158.42 after getting above uh, this the high price uh, from trading here today, uh, that should um, that level may be a level where the market takes pause or uh, needs to get above it to increase the bullish bias. By the way, the high price that we saw at 106.208, that was the highest level going back to uh, 1990. And uh, we came up 20 pips short of the uh, highest price going back to, uh, 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 or in 1990. The high price in 1990 came in at 160.40. The high price here came in 160.20. If you go back uh, further further and take a look at what a break of the 160.40 level would uh, do, it would take the price to the highest level since uh, January or, uh, or December 1986. So uh, add another four years to the uh, the, the um, uh, highest level for the dollar versus yen on a break of the 160.40 level. Be aware, be prepared. Again, on the downside, the price is going to need to get below the 100 and 200 hour moving average to increase the bearish bias for that currency pair. Finally, take a look at the sterling versus US dollar. And if we look at this uh, currency pair, the uh, uh, 200 hour moving average comes in at 124.62. Uh, we have, haven't been able to get below that level uh, since uh, this day right here, which was uh, Jan uh, April 24th. Get below that level, it opens the door for further downside with this swing area, 124.04 to 124.25. It's the next target. On the top side, we need to get above the 100-hour moving average to give the buyers some added confidence. And then we start to look toward the 100-day uh, moving average and the 61.8% retracement. Both those levels come in at 125.519, followed by the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart, 125.656. Get above that level, and we're pretty much getting above this high right here. Uh, and it would uh, certainly up, open the door for further upside momentum in the sterling versus US dollar. So, those are my uh, the roadmaps up for the three major currency pairs as we head into the FOMC rate decision. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.